there friends it's susan welcome back to my channel and today i was thinking because it's such a gloomy day and it's actually raining and it's hailing i thought i would get myself in a better mood and refresh my home for spring and i am so desperately waiting for summer aren't you <music> So I'm going to do start with the front hall. I'm going to, I love this urn or vase or pot vessel. And I'm going to leave these in because it's still spring and flowers and, you know, the greenery is still budding. So what I thought I would do is add these beautiful stems that I got at the Tatter Tulip. Somebody told me that they were wisteria. I always thought wisteria was like longer white, pink or purple uh, flowers. So maybe, I'm not sure what it is. It looks, if you really look close, they look like hydrangeas, whatever. It's up to your imagination. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just pop them in to this vase with the stems still in it, just to give it a little bit of color. I love the stem, the way it curls, twists. I took the wreath down and I know that there's this hook right here. I might take it off, but then I need it for the future wreath. Okay, so I think that's good. You could bend them a little bit if you want them to be more willowy. A lot of times, because this hallway is so narrow, we walk and we get these things stuck in our hair. So I try to bend it back a little bit as much as I can. Yeah, see, they're tall enough, so I don't need the wreath there. Okay, so we're going to go on to the table, the console here. And I found my picture that I had last year, so I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's a nice transitional you can picture. use this I mean, it's through spring and summer um i guess i'll put it over here behind the picture a bit because we have these light switches here this is makes it difficult because i wanted to put a huge mirror here but because of these lights switches i can't so that's what i made this little window frame so that i could still use the switches and that way i can put a, uh, a wreath so I'm going to leave this mirror. I love it. And so I have the and picture. Of course, I'm going to put my trusty old books. This one is Curate and this one's Living with White. Now this one here, I see it in Home Goods all the time. And it's a, it was a good price, $24.99. And it's a pretty, it's a really nice book. I'll show you some pictures. Me and my pictures. See, it's just showing you more neutral homes. Base. I think these are good bases and then you add what you want in color if you want color but i do like neutrals and i love white but i still need a pop of color so i'm going to place these right in front of this picture now remember this bowl i'm going to place that on so i'm always books. looking for my keys so i thought this would be a good place to put the keys and to put my sunglasses so I can just grab them when I'm in a hurry. I got this really nice box at Home Goods, and I've seen them at Home Sense here in Canada as well. And it's a nice little wooden box. And I don't know what they, I think they put some wood veneer on this. And I think this one wasn't too cheap, but yeah, I remember it being $29.99. So I'm gonna place that. I'm gonna place that in front of the mirror. Some more books. This side, the candle, this, side, this. this one's from Target. It's a Santal and Ginger by Threshold. I think I'm gonna put a little marble dish underneath the candle. 
sunglasses. So in this box, I am going to place all the family sunglasses, extra sunglasses that we have. And I think that's good.
So thanks a lot, friends, for coming along with me today. And I hope you have a great week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.